Big news, my AR multiplayer game Aviace is finally ready for its first closed beta on iOS and you can be one of the very first to play this right inside of your living room. It's been a minute since my last vlog but I'm finally back with the game that is best described as a Rocket League like style action arcade augmented reality experience. And the best part is that you can fly these tiny planes with your friends in your space. And if you're interested in joining the closed beta or getting updates on AVAs, stick around for a little longer as I'll explain how to do it. But first, let's dive into the game. You see, multiplayer and augmented reality is pretty new and pretty hard. Especially for cross-platform, there's almost no public solution, at least that I know of. The only workable option I found was the Niantic Spatial SDK, formerly known as Lightship, which I implemented using its image tracking co-localization. It worked, but it had big flaws. If you moved too far from the image or looked away, tracking got worse and the game could even fully disconnect. That made me seriously doubt whether a shared AR experience like this was even possible at all. I almost made it single player only, but shared AR was the heart of the game. Losing that would have been too big of a sacrifice. Then Niantic released something game-changing. Shared on device mapping. Here's how it works. You can scan your room and the game creates a local 3D map, kind of like a mini VPS. When another player joins, their camera feed is matched to that map, so objects appear in the exact same position for everyone. Planes flying through the same portal, bullets hitting the same spot and full multiplayer chaos, all perfectly aligned. This finally gave me the confidence to build AVA's AR the way I always imagined. The first mode you'll play is called Duel. The goal is to capture and hold a portal by flying straight through it, while stopping your opponent from doing the same. Your victory points take up over 2 minutes and whoever has the most wins. You can grab power-ups for a shield, extra boost, healing or unlimited shooting for a short time. Steering is now faster and smoother than before. Perfect for quick turns and you can even pull off barrel rolls. I've also added new visual effects like bullet holes, burning wings and particle bursts. These small details make the battles so much more satisfying. Right now I'm testing 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2 matches with up to 2 human players and 2 AI bots. These battles are pure chaos with explosions, fire and crashing planes. Exactly the kind of wild AVAs moments I wanted from the start. Later on, I want to add more planes, new skins and fresh game modes called missions. These will be co-op or single player challenges like taking down a massive behemoth or defending a base from waves of attackers. The closed iOS beta is planned for November and I'm looking for 20 to 30 testers. To join, click on the link in the video description, hit get updates and check sign up for beta. Then write a quick line about why you want to play. This first beta will be iOS only, so I can focus on getting one platform right before moving to Android, which is definitely planned as well. Alright, and now I'm super interested to know what you guys think about AVAs and what kind of features you want to see implemented in the future. Let's discuss in the comments below, but until then, as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.